Hey YouTubers, um, sorry it's been such a such a long time between drinks but since my last uh, video update but I've been fighting a lot of electrical demons um, recently on this thing I've, you, the light's shocking, I won't bother showing it but I've had to do, redo a lot of the wiring that's through here rewire the alarm um, double check where all the what, you know triple check all the loom just because um, some of it's been a bit shoddy over the years, it's been butchered and um, rewire the dash part of the loom properly because this has got a GDS dash in it and the wiring between that and the normal dash is actually slightly different so I've had to go and redo that but the biggest thing has been dealing with this little sucker uh, this is my Bosch electronic distributor that I bought online for a bloody good deal um, but it's not giving spark, it's not giving the output voltage um, to the coil so I'm going to show you how you can um, pull these apart and test and rebuild them and hopefully I'll do it without confusing you okay I've just got to sit on there. okay so just hang on a second So usually uh, when you get these they have this cap on it, okay? So this is for a, um, a Holden, I think from uh, 82 to 89 possibly they came out with these distributors. And usually for the 8 cylinder they had this dirty big distributor cap. And as I mentioned previously, what you can do is you can get rid of this thing, especially if you're struggling for space, and put the points equivalent cap on it. This is what it looks like, they've got female terminals. What I've done is I've got an aftermarket cat which has got male terminals on it, basically just because of the leads I've got to compatible with this. To uh, complete this conversion, take the cap off for us, you need to use a different distributor rotor because of course this one's going to be a lot smaller um, than the other one. And the distributor rotor you need actually comes out of a Ford. This is the part number here, GB786, okay, to, sh to suit Ford six cylinders from 80 to 80, 253, 50 series, so you get one of them, they're about 20 bucks, and, um, and you can do this conversion, quite good, and is recommended by a lot of people. Okay, so we're going to start pulling this apart, so take the rotor button off is the first step. But before I continue through, I'm going to briefly um, show you how these sorts of systems work um, just very simply so to get spark you have first, I'll try and get this so it's not right. you first have a coil and that gives us out our spark inside the coil on the positive terminal you've got a primary coil which is a whole series of wires um, thick wires with not a lot of turns and you've got a secondary coil Okay, which is lots of thin wires and many more turns and they're all um, centred around a central metal iron core. So what you do is if you apply a voltage um, to the primary windings and then if you very quickly shut off that voltage it will impart um, electro, um, electromotive force or um, electromagnetic force on the secondary windings and you will induce a large voltage in the other in the secondary windings because there's lots and lots of more windings and that's how you go from 12 volts to several thousand volts what this requires is an on off uh, voltage input so with points um, with a points distributor I've got one actually this is the old points distributor um, basically you've just got this little contact set and so that opens and closes and that gives you the on off voltage um, within the points case. In the um, electronic distributor case it's what's called a magnetic uh, pickup in it. So rather than have on and off, the problem with points is that as you as it goes through several k's of going on and off, on and on, on and off, you eventually burn out the points and you've got to replace them and you can't run 12 volts through them all the time or they burn out even quickly quicker. Um, so what they've got, this is um, the top part of the distributor where we've got our reluctor um, and our stator. Okay, so these little points here, these are two magnets. 
and below um, this is a whole series of uh, copper wiring. We'll see this shortly when I pull it apart. What happens is that when these two points go past each other, they induce, they've got quite a magnetic dipole associated with them and that induces an electric um, field on the little windings that we've got underneath. Okay? If you ever did um, high school physics, you'd understand this. So magnets give you electricity, <laughs> unsurprisingly. So as they go past, what they do is they induce a voltage, an alternating current voltage. So if, if this is my time, and up here is voltage, it gives you a, um, a signal that looks something like this. Okay, an alternating up and down voltage. What, this isn't our on off voltage we need for the coil, so it's got a little module attached to it which basically converts that into, converts and amplifies it into what's called a square wave. Okay, so here's our on off potential and so that induces, that um, fires our coil. Okay, so now, once I've done the sort of basics, um, we're going to pull this apart and test it. Okay. First thing you need to do is, of course, take the cap off, take the retaining, retaining clips off the side, just because it makes it a little bit easier to deal with it. It's a great start to the video, isn't it? Right, clips are off. Uh, the first thing I'd advise you to do would then be to take um, the module off. So we undo these two top screws for the metal cover here. cover off. That will expose our module. Four pin plug. Okay. Undo the four pins. Green and pink. Get them positive. And two black ones. One with a big terminal, one with a small terminal. And then you can take the module out. Um, what I'm showing here, you can then take these wires out, uh, will pretty much work for any Bosch um, distributor. Four cylinder, six cylinder, eight cylinder with a four pin plug. Um, they made these for all sorts of applications and in all sorts of cars. Okay, the next thing is to pull off our vacuum advance module, which is two small screws to the side of the housing here. Okay, just hold it so it doesn't come off. Then what you want to do is rotate the stator, which is this bit, anti-clockwise, and that should let this slide out and then just wiggle the little arm down and that should come straight out. Okay, Hold on to this, we're going to test this in a minute. Um, if you're ever rebuilding these just be double um, double check which um, vacuum advance module you use because they're all different depending on which application. Okay, the next thing we need to do, next thing we want to do is to remove the reluctor plate. Okay, And this is where I need my circlip pliers. So it's just got a little circlip in the top. Take that off. And then it's got this funky little spring washer as well. Take that off. Okay. Now, next step, especially, I've pulled this distributor apart before so I know how to do this, but next step, especially if it's an old distributor, spray a little bit of CRC um, around the main shaft. And then using two flat bladed screwdrivers, very carefully, and I mean carefully, take off, pry off the reluctor plate. Shouldn't need to give it too much force. Off like so. Now if you look down the housing, you should be able to see uh, the reluctor windings. Next thing, take off, there's another circlip on the um, on the main shaft that holds the bottom of the reluctor plate. Take that guy off. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the stator assembly.